of my viewers out there, let me put my window up. Got a question for anybody that's done this stuff before, because I've heard positives and negatives. Um, I've got this 93 F-150 uh, video that'll come at a later time, because it's a really clean truck other than interior dash is cracked and uh, seats a little ripper normally would be. But what I'm going to ask about is going to be, uh, do you tighten up your, steering's on, your uh, steering box on this? I've now heard positives and not, and I'm hoping with my hand I can at least show you. That's all of the play I've got, which going right now at 55 isn't terrible, but uh, driving home when I've got to go 75, it's really not the best. So, so I'm kind of hoping to ask uh, your guys' opinion about this, and uh, if anybody's ever done it, the good or bad experiences you've had, because I've, I've seen online, you know, where people say, yeah, you know, break the 5 8 nut loose as a flat screwdriver, tighten it quarter turn, and then go from there. But I've also recently been told, do not do that, because it will uh, kind of mess up how your gears sit, and then it won't catch at times, but then when it does, it'll jerk, which to me sounds a lot more unsafe than me just having this play, because right now I can drive it just fine with that play. I put over a thousand miles on it within a week like that and with a funny transmission as well I suppose but that's a different day's problem um, right now I'm just working more on drivability for every day having a properly shifting transmission would be nice but I can live with this one for now um, that's what I'm asking everybody out there viewers subscribers whoever you know anyways any opinions on this GM even I know they had the uh, same type of gearbox where you could tighten it, except I think they had like an Allen head wrench. And I think some later Fords might have too. I'm not for sure on that one. I think maybe even Jeeps did. So don't quote me on any of those. Those aren't really my forte, so I really don't know. But uh, yeah, if anybody's any opinions or suggestions or anything that could help on that, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> to all my three-wheeler people out there, sorry it's not really a three-wheeler type video, but uh, this is gonna be the three-wheeler hauler now, since the uh, white one's got some sludge in the motor it's gonna get sold off. So uh, thanks for watching, subscribe, and please leave me your suggestions down below. I really wanna hear them. Thanks.